Alright, yeah, what's up gamers? Welcome back to another video. It's me again, Blitz Hotel. Tower. And, um, considering the fact that, like, I'm, um, gaining more subscribers and getting more noticed on different platforms, I have decided that I was going to make a part two to my Q&A video that I made quite a few months ago, well, no, quite a while ago. Uh, a couple of days ago, I asked you all, well, most of you guys, um, if you had any questions for me to answer in this video. And, um, I'm glad I could rely on you guys for that. Thank you. So I've got a bunch of questions and I'm going to be reading them out and answering them. Um, Optimus War Crimes 115, I mean 1178 asked, easy, what's your favorite dinosaur? Oh, that's an easy answer. The tower. I mean, come on, literally me. <laughs> My Chemical Imbalance. <laughs> asked um who's your favorite youtuber this was a pretty hard one for me to answer because i have a lot of favorite youtubers at the moment though it's probably johnny gilbert because i mean well i've been watching his content since he was in like mde and that was like like i like when i was like six or something so, you know, and I'm really happy to see him grow in popularity, especially nowadays. I swear, like, so many people at school watch his content as well, and I'm glad that I can, um, bond with my peers about him. Frosty Sauce asked, um, wh why do you make your videos in the style that you do? What intrigued you to copy the 2009 era style of videos? Um... Uh, okay, so, like, I know I've said this quite a few times before, but I'd like to reiterate, um, it was never intentional. <laughs> um, you see, I, I'm just some emo kid, and I, I grew up watching YouTube, and I found out that I have a webcam on my computer, and I was just like, hey, I should record videos. And so I started recording videos, and then randomly... Um, it was about the time that I made that, like, my first ever Monster Energy Chugging video. And, like, I got, like, a bunch of people commenting on that. Like, oh my god, this is so 2009. And I was just like, wait, what? So basically, ultimately, um, it was completely inadvertent. Um, I, this was just my content style. Um, never intended it to have a 2000s-esque theme, but whatever, I don't mind, that's cool. <laughs> okay, next question. My Chemical Imbalance, <laughs> once again, thank you for the, um, questions, asked, um, how do you feel about Pierce the Veil's new album, um, The Jaws of Life? Um, I actually really like this album, because, like, I mean, Pierce the Veil, they were, like, one of the first bands that I listened to, right? I mean, like, you know, I, I love all of their albums, you know? The Jewels of Life, I think that it was, like, I, like, I remember when it came out, and, like, I thought that it was really good, you know? My favorite song on the album, uh, Flawless Execution. I haven't really listened to that many songs on the album, though, but Flawless e Execution is my favorite so far. Okay, next question. Um, I forgot if this question was in, like, the Q&A bit, but I remember I got this, uh, question thing on one of my videos. Um, the user Thar3 asked... What's the accent? British girl trying to do an intentionally bad American one. Lol. <laughs> um, close. I am from New Zealand. And I watch a lot of TV. Funny story, when I was in kindergarten, I watched so much Dora that I picked up a really heavy American accent and all of the kids at my kindergarten thought I was American. And you see, the crazy thing is, is that whenever I go to school... Well, like just in real life, so many people think, wow, are you American? You have such a strong American accent. And I'm just like, what? I... But then when I go online, then everyone's just like, oh my god, are you British? Are you Australian? Like, I, I didn't even notice I had an accent until like a while ago. That This is just how I speak, and I speak how I want to speak. Question. Uh, some guy from Google, 1481, asked, um... What year is it for you right now? Currently, it's 2024. However, um, as, as I mentioned previously, um, I, I don't really have that much knowledge of the world around me currently. Um, most of my knowledge is just from not now. 
but I do have some understanding of um, 2020 culture that answers your question. Um, Chili Cheesecake asked, favorite movie and why? Um, I made a, uh, I'm pretty sure I made a video about this a while ago, but since then my opinions on movies have changed. Um, hmm. The Fly, David Cronenberg's Wonder. Um, I also really like Sweeney Todd and, and American Psycho. You know, I actually got that question asked to me at the start of the year at my, at my high school. I was extremely tempt tempted just to say, oh, yeah, the human CP1, the human CP2, the human CP3, but then I realized, oh, wait, no, they'll think that I'm a weirdo. Not saying that that's a bad thing, it's just that I, I, I'd prefer not to get the lead. Next question. Oh, this is the best. Um, the user HelixX asked, favorite band, song, and album? <laughs> Thank you for asking this. My favorite band right now, um, I have a lot of favorite bands. Um, of course, Black Veil Brides, um, Marilyn Manson, Motionless and White, and I also really like Power Man 5000 at the moment. They're really good. Um, favorite song? Ah, this is hard because I have like five million favorite songs, you know? Um, but at the moment, if I had to choose one, like, something I can listen to, like, over and over again on repeat without getting bored of it for, like, years. Um, Youth and Whiskey by Black Veil Brides. Full stop. It's, like, it's, it's, it's the best. I really like it. Um, okay, okay, okay. I've said this, I forgot how many times, but my favourite album, I stand by this forever, Black Veil Brides is Set the World on Fire. I mean, it would be silly of me to say that it's, it's not my favourite album of all time, because, like, I mean, come on. Have you seen my stats for Spotify and my top songs of all time? It's it's all just set the world on fire. I mean, well, yeah, there is like the Jet Set Life is gonna kill you randomly, but um, most of it is just set the world on fire, right? Um. <laughs> cannot continue talking about Set the War on Fire or else this video is just going to be me talking about Set the War on Fire. The user uh, OG underscore say more homie asked um what's the best pop tart flavor toasted or untoasted? I've only had pop tarts once my lovely uncle made them for me um I had chocolate ones I don't remember if they were toasted or not but they tasted delicious um and it had like ice cream well, I had ice cream with it and it was it was so delicious and I really like the pop tarts. So this is the last question on my list. Wait, yeah, the last question on my list. Um My Chemical Imbalance asked, Do you strongly like horror movies or strongly hate them or just think of them as meh? I love horror movies. I love horror movies. I love horror movies. Hope this answers your question. <laughs> um uh, yeah, those were all of the questions. I really hoped that um, if your question was on the list, then I answered it properly. Um, the next video is going to be a makeup tutorial. Um, and the video after that, it's going to be a waffle video. It's not going to be me making waffles. It's just going to be me talking about waffles. So be prepared for that. Also, serious question. Would you guys actually watch it if I made a video where I just talked about my love for Set the World on Fire? YouTube is about expression and I'm hyper fixated with Set the World on Fire. Anyways, make sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get all the latest updates. Thank you all so much for 2.7k subscribers. Big number. Um, Love you all. Bye!